Uh, thank you for coming back to the show. Uh, I have so much to talk to you about. I'm freaking out about the Meg. I'm so into this. But first of all, you have even crazier news that you just announced yesterday. Uh, yes, I do. I haven't even been able to speak about it yet. So I found out that I got cast as Batwoman. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's a game changer. It's a game changer. That and is so cool. I found out uh, an hour before I did the premiere for Meg, and I was so nervous doing the red carpet that I basically skipped everybody because I was worried that because like, I kept like spontaneously crying. Oh. I feel like I'm probably gonna do it now, so I'm just gonna. And because I kept thinking like, what do they say? Because everyone always says, so what have you got planned next? And I thought either I'm gonna put my foot in it and yeah, accidentally exactly. say something, or I'm gonna just start crying and they're gonna be like, oh, <laughs> she doesn't. She has issues. She doesn't look yeah. so good. <laughs> Ruby Rose has issues. Um, yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, I'm I'm so thrilled. But it's. Do it's, you understand? It's it's. A, it, I was talking to you backstage and I go, it's over now. It's like this is fantastic. This is a different. It's a whole different chapter, but I mean, it's for the rest of your life. You're gonna be, you're, you're, I get you're to Batwoman. Be a Batwoman. I mean, like what? But and I, I feel like the reason I kept getting so emotional is because, you know, growing up watching TV, I never saw somebody on TV that I could identify with, let alone a superhero. You know, and um, ah, oh, I said I wouldn't do that. And uh, that's all right. You have I've to do. I've always it. had this saying. Well, not me, Oscar Wilde. But, uh, you know. <laughs> same diff, same, same diff, same, same diff, yeah. Uh, which is, you know, be yourself because everyone else is taken. And so I always lived by that motto. And then the second motto That's when great. I came into the industry was uh, be the person that you needed when you were younger. And I feel like sort of one motto led me to the other. And I just, like, kept crying about it. Uh, well, I almost got emotional backstage because I was talking to you and I said, isn't this so fun? Kids are going to be dressing up like you for Halloween and it's different than an orange jumpsuit. Yeah, uh, but they, they, are, they but won't have to dress <laughs> like they're in prison jumpsuits yeah. anymore. Uh, and then you, you, you said this thing to me that uh, stuck in my head because you said that you, 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 you've been going to hospitals and yeah. visiting children just to visit kids in, in hospitals and now you, you can visit them dressed as Batwoman. As Batwoman and they're going to think that Batwoman. Just, dude, I just love that that went through your brain. Uh, I just think that's like so cool. It's like the third thing that I thought about. I was just like, wow, not only can kids watch this growing up and relate to it and feel empowered and think that they can be a superhero, but also I can go and, and do these things like visiting hospitals and kids and people in need. And oh, it's, it's a really, it's an amazing opportunity, obviously. Uh, I love, I'm that, very you, I love that you're doing it. I love that you're you. And I love that you're having fun and enjoying this. Because some people, sometimes they go like, yeah, I'm doing this thing. And they're like, no, you have to enjoy this. Yeah, it's happening now. Enjoy it. Have fun. Absolutely. Uh, I saw you last time I saw you was at the Met Gala, which is this beautiful night where everyone just looks I don't even know how I got invited to it, but anyways, it's weird, I'm there. It's a weird thing, though. It's, it's, it's great, a... but it's kind of weird, no? No, I think it's normal for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always drink in museums. Wait, did I see you <laughs> yeah. There? yeah, I saw you quickly, but I waved and you ignored me. But it's fine. No, it's I, no big I, deal. I, I, I get so nervous and overwhelmed, I just sort of black out. And then all I remember was, was meeting uh, Kate Moss and Rita Ora, who I hadn't met before. Oh but then... Gosh hearing the first bars of Madonna performing and just was like, bye, it didn't even say goodbye, just walked straight off. And so they must have been like, she's a very strange person. No, but how great was Madonna? That's all I cared about. It was that the best. All I, I mean, of course I cared about being at Met Ball and you know, I would love to go next year and all that stuff. But like... Well, look, this, this is your dress, I mean, you just look that's, stunning. That's me practicing to be bad Look at that. Yeah, exactly. Your first, uh, first my, my uh, Batwoman first right there before you even knew. Yeah. Well, actually, my first attempt at Batwoman was uh, when I was a kid. I, I was telling my mom, and she has a bat tattoo. She has like a little Batman tattoo in my mom when she was in her 20s because she had pet bats growing up. Very normal. Okay, this is... And uh, What? Yes, yeah, she had. She nursed these little pet bats back to life, but then they couldn't go anywhere because they were domesticated. So they just lived in the house and <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Um, and this, this is the best interview I've ever, ha I ever had in my entire life. I'm so intrigued. You said this last time because of the giant teacup pig. That's um, right. Dude, your mom's very interesting. I want to have your mom that on the show. That pig is still alive. <laughs> and uh, she was telling me the story about, because we grew up with, you know, not a lot of money, and so I would make my toys. And I made bat wings out of, like, recycled cardboard boxes. And I would sleep in them, and I would run around in them, and I would j jump off high, high things. Yeah. And, uh, and she would have to catch me. And she just said that we would have to keep, like, gaffer taping them because they were, like, soggy and wet and smelly and gross. And I just lived in them. And now you are a Batwoman. And now I'll get ones that aren't made of cardboard. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, my God. Is that a good story or not? It's a good story. That's a great story. You have to put, 
You have to put a little shout out to the cardboard wings in the show somewhere. Oh, in I this, do, I do. We still right? have to do that. Just have yes. it somewhere in the corner, just so you know, like, yeah, that's. That's I, how it started. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. Yeah. Uh, oh. On and on and on, uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.